Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're going to go over my everyday makeup basket for May. I just had to think about what month it was, because I can't believe it's already May. If you can't tell, us in the Northeast, we skipped spring. We don't get spring. Spring isn't a thing anymore. We went from winter to summer. <laughs> it's 85 degrees right now. I put in my air conditioning unit, because I live in an attic, and it is hot. An attic made of wood. I'm in an attic made of wood. It is hot. <laughs> um, so if you hear the fans or anything in the next couple of videos, I'm sorry. I'm gonna do my best to keep them off, but it's hot. Also, before we jump into the video, I want to give a huge, huge thank you. Guys, I just hit 500 subscribers. I can't believe it's... Like, it's almost hard to believe now that I have 500 subscribers. I'm truly, truly grateful for each and every one of you. This is what I love to do. This is my hobby. This is what gets me out of bed at five in the morning so I could film videos before I go to work every day. This is what encouraged me to apply to Sephora where I just got a part-time job. So I'm still working at the bookstore and then I'm gonna be working at Sephora. I just had my training yesterday and my first day is officially on Friday. So when you guys are seeing this, it's probably going to be my official first day. So I just wanna say thank you so much for being along for this ride and for watching my videos. And just for being there. Thank you. Okay, so with all of that out of the way, let's jump into my everyday makeup basket. I do have just a couple of items, a highlighter, a bronzer slash blush, so you know what, what concealers I'm going to be using, what foundations I'm going to be using. I'm going to go through them fairly quickly. Um, if you want to see a full review on any of these products, if I have videos based on them, the foundations I definitely have videos on. I'll throw those up in the cards as we go along. But if there's anything here that I mentioned that you want a full review on at the end of the month, I'd be more than happy to do that. That way I have enough time to test out if it's a new product, or get to know it again if it's an older product. Okay, so let's start with foundation and concealer. The foundations that I want to use are the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. I'm wearing it today. This is the shade 710. I do have a video on this, a couple of videos actually. I'll throw one of them up in the cards and I'll link the rest below. This is an amazing foundation in the summer. It's got medium buildable coverage. You can build it up to full coverage. It does have a little bit of a scent, I do mention in the video, but it does dissipate, it doesn't last the rest of the day. It just holds up really well in humidity and sweat on my combination skin, and it doesn't look totally matte to the point where like my dry spots look like flaky. So I love this on my combination skin. I'm already like a third of the way through the bottle, believe it or not. I cannot, like I just bought this not too long ago. But I love this foundation and I want to use it a lot more now that we're... We're basically in summer. We skipped spring. The next foundation that I want to use more is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I have the shade Punjab, and I think this is going to be a really great shade for me in the transition to summer. It's a little bit darker for me now. I do mix in a white lightener from LA Girl just to get it to match my neck, because not a lot of my foundations are matching the neck. But also, I, I walk to work every day outside obviously. Where else am I gonna walk to work? And I've already tanned. Like, I do use SPF, but my face, I just tan at the drop of a hat. And when I'm walking to work, like, if I have my sleeves rolled up to here and I walk to work, like, this is tan by the time I get to work. So it's a blessing and a curse. Like, half of my feet are tan because I've been wearing Toms when I walk to work, and so, you know, Toms only come up halfway on your foot. So half my foot is tan. That's just my struggle. <laughs> So I'm, this is going to be a really like tough time of the year for me to match my foundation. So I'm hoping this becomes a better match for me. And if not, I'll see if I can pick up a darkener as well. Because I do have the LA Girl Lightener. I'm just not sure like exactly what kind of formula I want to get for the, like, the darkener. The concealer that I want to use is going to be the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer. And this is in Light Warm. I love this concealer. I love this concealer for long wear time. It doesn't crease as badly under my eyes as some other concealers can do. I do have fine lines under my eyes so the majority of concealers will crease but this one doesn't do it as badly. It is the perfect shade for under my eyes. I also used it on my chin and on my forehead today just to lighten up the, the healthy elixir just a little bit because it was a little off and it still is a little off like if you're looking at my neck and my chest but that's fine. <laughs> Um, so I love this. It's got um, it's got great coverage. It lasts throughout the day, and 
I'm just loving it. Okay, like normal, I always keep my NYX glitter primer. This is the only glitter glue that I use. It's really affordable. I've only had to buy one tube, but I've used this for months. It lasts forever. Got it at Ulta. I love the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel, the clear brow gel, just to set my brows. Um, and if like the beginnings of my brows aren't looking as full, I will jump in with the Ulta Beauty Deep Brow Tint. And I'll use that just to kind of fill in just the like beginning parts of my brows while still looking natural. Because I don't like to take the Dip Brow, which is my next product, the ABH Dip Brow in granite. I don't like to take this all the way to the front of my brow because then it looks blocky and it looks fake. So I will go in with like a tinted brow gel in the front just to keep it looking a little bit more natural. Okay, so I do have a couple of mascaras. I am finishing up the Chantecaille mascara from last month. It will be out by the end of this month because that is going to be the three month mark for that mascara. So after that is done, I am testing out two new mascaras to me, not newer mascaras. I have the Lancôme Monsieur Big mascara, which I'm wearing today. It's, it's volumizing. I'm just worried about it like flaking. So I'm gonna do the full day wear test, see how it goes. The brush on this thing is gigantic. This thing is huge. I would, that, I, that surprised me, especially since this is like the small sample size. So that was shocking. Um, and then the other mascara, I haven't opened it yet, so I'm not gonna open it up, but it's the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara, also in the mini size. So I'm trying out two minis just to see how I like them. And then I really wanna jump in either at the end of this month or next month with a couple of full size mascaras just to see how they compare. Because I'm thinking maybe I just like the smaller mascaras better and they might just work better for me because they are smaller as opposed to a larger one so i mean we're going to test that all right so we skipped over face powder but we're going to jump into that now the loose powder that i'm going to be using and that i'm loving is the natasha denona invisible hd face powder i have this in it's the light number one light medium this is the perfect shade for under my eyes i don't really use it all over the rest of my face because I do love this for baking so I will use it under my eyes to bake and then I set my chin and my upper lip with this as well it's got this like lovely cooling like tingly sensation strange enough as it is I love it like it just feels so nice on my under eyes especially early in the morning when you're tired you're getting ready for work you're getting ready for school it just feels really nice on your under eyes it feels like you put a, a cool cucumber on there Oh, I'll get over it, Monica. It's fine. Okay. Um, and then the other powder that I'm going to be using is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is one of my go-tos for the summer. I have shade 004 Sandstorm. I also picked up 001 Transparent. It's supposed to be like a translucent powder. I haven't tried this one out yet, so I do want to try it out. Um, but I am using 004 Sandstorm. I actually picked up two of these because I want to figure out a way to depot this. I need to depot this and put this in like my nice Z palette because I don't I don't like this packaging I really don't and the last time I tried to depot this I like broke it like I, th I think it was actually in a video like I flipped over my Z palette and then I flipped it back over and it just poosh, shattered so I am gonna try out you know a different depotting method on the other one let me see do I have it over here yeah, so this is the other 004 Sandstorm that I have. I'm going to do my best to try and to depot this one. But if I can't depot it and I end up breaking it, then I, I still have my other one as a backup. Whew, but that is the best powder from the drugstore for the summer if you get oily or if you're combination. It really does keep you matte. And it's the best, like, on-the-go touch-up powder. Like... I do prefer putting it on with a brush, but if you do have like a little face poof and you take this with you, you can just do like a little touch up here. Like this is a lifesaver in the summer. It really does keep you matte and it's great for touch ups, for soaking up oil. The next item that I have is from Burberry. This is the Dark Earthy Blush number 11. So this actually, you can tell from the tone it's not really a blush but it's not really a contour but it's not really a bronzer like it's this weird middle i don't know it's like this weird middle of the intersection of all of those and i'm wearing it today it is a lovely lovely tone especially in the summer i wouldn't put it where i put blush though i would definitely use it where i put my contour and then i brought it up a little bit onto my forehead I think this is going to look amazing on me as I get darker in the summer, so I do want to use it a little bit more 
it blends out really well and I just love the tone of it. And the last product that I have is the highlighter, which is the Kylie French Vanilla Highlighter, a little packaging like this. It's got a mirror in the top and then you open it up and it's right there. I am wearing it today. When I first saw this, I thought it was going to be a little too gold for my skin tone, but even like this pale, like I love it. It's beautiful. So I am going to try to use this highlighter, you know, more often and get a better feel for the Kylie highlighter formula because I do have one of her highlighter palettes but this is the first one of her like individually packaged highlighters that I own. So those are all of my products that are in my everyday makeup basket for May. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like everyday makeup baskets and be sure to check out the playlist that I have of all of the makeup baskets from January until now. Let me know down below what is in your makeup basket for this month. What are your go-to products now that we're in this weird transition of seasons and if you're in the northeast like i am how upset are you that we skipped spring and it's just immediately 85 degrees now especially because now like with my sephora job i have to wear all black yay no i'm, I'm really excited i can't wait <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you in my next video bye